Dean, thanks for joining me once again. Uh, how have the players come through the week in training? Yeah, it's been a bright week. Uh, cold. It's proper winter now. Um, but now the players' attitude once again has been, been spot on and we're re really looking forward to the weekend. The, the confidence must be quite high within the squad given the, uh, the recent results. Yeah, it does. You know, winning football matches breeds confidence. Um, all we have to do is to continue the same walk ethic, continue our togetherness and uh, keep uh, taking one game as it comes. I mean, looking ahead to this Saturday now, we host Maidenhead. What, what are you expecting from that one? Tough game. Uh, Dev, their manager, knows the division inside out, does a great job every year there. Um, so, really tough game. They've got some good players, Barrett, Kelly, um, who are goal scorers for them from sort of wide areas. So, it's going to be a difficult game. Uh, there's no easy games in the division, but particularly you can sort of look at their form. I know they've lost the last three or so and they've had COVID in their camp, but. You know, we've got to make sure our mentality is right and we approach it in the right manner. They're a really good side. I mean, main header towards the bottom of the table, so they'll be fighting for, for every point and, and every second, but won't they? Yeah, that's yeah. I don't expect them to stay where they are, to be honest with you. They've got a couple of games in hand and they've got a good, experienced squad, to be fair, and a very experienced manager. Um, so just no easy games. And if we start thinking that way, we'll come unstuck. I mean, just a word on Alan, Alan Devonshire, obviously, he was very successful as a player with West Ham and, um, and, and knows this league really well, so it's, it's going to be a tough one, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, Dev's a top manager. Good guy, one of the good guys in the game. Um, yeah, and he, he's got a good squad, to be fair to him. He always has a good squad. Very hard-working, um, very well-organised, and uh, it'll be a very tough, ta uh, tough task. It, it was announced that Ryan de Havilland has been uh, sent out on loan to Taze and United. What, what have you got to say about that? Yeah, I think it's good for Ryan to go play some games and play men's football. He's come out of the academy system, so he needs to learn how to you know, play second balls, better stuff for like that, because he's got loads of ability, um, but he needs to just learn the game, which is only 20 years of age, and he will do. So he's definitely a, a player for the future for us. What, what do you think the key things are, uh, given our, our positive recent results? What, what, what have you seen from the players that we may not have seen in, in, uh, in weeks gone by? Uh, not that we haven't seen that in weeks ago. Boy, the, guys, the lads are just walking their socks off. And they're walking for each other. And then collective walk rate, that's all it is really. It's, uh, it's not rocket science, this business. People try to reinvent the wheel. Walk hard, give the ball away, get it back. And when you get it, do what you're good at. Earn the right to do what you're good at, I call it. So, and the, our players are doing that at the minute. Um, we've just got to make sure that we are meant to, he's right going into this weekend. It's so important in these type of games. I think this is the first time we're actually going to be a favourites for a game. Um, with the bookmakers that is I'm not plugging them but you know it's, we've got to make sure our mentality is right because if it's not right we'll come unstuck I can guarantee you that so uh, that's the challenge for us to keep walking forward and keep uh, keep that hard work and just finally have you got a message for our supporters who will be, uh, will be back backing us once again yeah looking forward to seeing them again um, they were brilliant last week away at Woking 178 were there I think travelled to the game so we thank them for their positive support and hopefully we can give them something to sing about this Saturday thanks for your time cheers